Well, Amazon and Microsoft are in the hot seat after UK regulators launch an investigation into the tech giant's cloud services. The investigation comes after a study from Ofcom brought to life concerns about the ability for customers to use multiple suppliers. And we should mention for those who aren't familiar, Ofcom is UK's communication regulator. Um, this should not come as a surprise necessarily because Ofcom has been looking into the dominance that Amazon and Microsoft have had on cloud services for a year now. And this push for an investigation is the result of that investigation that preceded it. Now, th this number, I think, Rochelle, is worth pointing out and points to why there are concerns. When you look at Amazon Web Services, Microsoft's Azure combined, they have 70 to 80% of the market. And the concern is that they lock customers in and make it more difficult to customers to get out of that particular ecosystem. So something that they are under investigation for in the UK, there's another investigation in Japan, there's an investigation in the Netherlands, France, not necessarily le uh, limited to the UK, but it points to where the regulation uh, spotlight is being shined on right now. It's true. And obviously, because they, they make up the biggest share here, they got most of the spotlight. But this does speak to broader concerns that they have in the UK about the dominance of some of these companies. And as you mentioned here, it's it's about being able to switch, being difficult for customers to switch, being difficult for them to be able to use multiple suppliers. And also talking about some of the software licensing practices of these cloud providers. So even though Amazon and Microsoft in the in the crosshairs here, certainly not the only ones that UK regulators are focusing on here, Akiko. Yeah, Google just close behind, where actually I should say they're not that close behind. They are third in terms of market share, but just five to 10%. So that shows you the dominance from Amazon and Microsoft as well. You know, we always look to the UK as well as the EU as a potential template, a sign of things to come in the US because they have tended to really lead on regulation, especially around tech. But certainly a story to follow here because no question regulators here in the US are also watching this space and investigating it closely.